listeners know we we got a trading room um from 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 your position jj how have you been seeing retail traders uh fare in the market this year it's 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 been a lot harder for mm-hmm. a lot of these folks um you know people a lot of these people you know it's like sailors they've been fair weather sailors and the market's going up it's it's been good but when those storms come um it's it's really hard because some days you know some days of buying day the next day is a shorting day then you're buying again and being able to switch and not get you know held up in choppy markets and you know there are definitely times in the day where you shouldn't be trading right where you're you know you're letting the large size traders do their business and not getting in the way Mm -hmm. and a lot of people have just been getting chopped up it's it's been a it's been a very difficult market and for for a lot of retail traders and we've been really trying to keep people on the right side and um you know like you'll you'll see that you know after some really really bad days the next day on zoom there'll be less people you know and you know that people have just gotten chewed up and um you know you tell people to be careful you know because i've been doing this for 30 years now um you know but you tell people to be careful but Unfortunately, retail trading is, you know, you're sitting in a room and a lot of people who come into retail are, you know, they're sort of type A personality people. They're used to taking the bull by the horns and working really hard and and to them to sit and wait for a trade um, or wait for the right conditions to come, you know, that just goes against, you know, they're like, I'm just sitting here. I'm not working. I'm not making you money. Right. And then they go and do a trade, get stopped out. They go long, go short, go long, go short. Next thing you know, they're down five hundred to thousand dollars, and it's just it, it's really it's it's been pretty nerve wracking for a lot of people, you know, um, and and I, I sympathize with that. And even me, like sometimes, you know, I'll I'll when I start trading, I'll just test myself on a micro or two to see if I do a lot of self monitoring. Is like is my brain working? Am I executing? You know, before mm-hmm. I even think about sizing up. Yeah. Um, it's 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 the only way to do it you've got to really you know test and 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 just make sure that you know you can't be too overcautious but um i was taught to be really cheap and and preserve capital so uh that that's that's the big thing with me you know i'll i'll test the market out see how it's trading and moreover i'll test myself to see you know am i seeing things right am i reacting right if i'm not reacting right you know i got to start reassessing right mm-hmm. um you know, what I'm doing or if I'm seeing something or I'm reading it wrong. Um, so I do a lot of that, like, especially on Monday, if I have weekend brain, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, you know, yep. now that I actually have a life on weekends, uh, you know, which I haven't had for like, you know, 25 years. So, you know, it's like sometimes Monday and I'm like, oh yeah, it was a nice weekend. And, you know, I'm like, oh God, I had to snap, a- snap out of it, you know, and get into the price action, you know? Yep. So it takes it takes me a little longer now, you know, which is nice because we have that London session. So I can, uh, I can prep a little bit for, uh, for the regular trading hours. Yeah. Yeah. The hours are a lot different, right? Cause you were, you were oh, yeah. in what, like central timing and, or uh, I know it's, I know it's switched GMT, a little bit. Greenwich mean time. Uh, so it's like, you know, here, like right now it's, um, what time is it here? It's so you, uh, almost well, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Right? So you're so five hours like, in front of me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I was saying like when you were in Regina, you were probably, I think you were like central, you were like one or two hours behind me. I guess it depend on yeah, daylight savings. It, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. Regina doesn't change time zones. You guys would change. So yeah. We would, yeah. The same. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's good. You know, it's at that London open is a wonderful time to trade, especially for new traders. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. And I, I've noticed on the zooms that, you know, people actually get up to trade with me at like two 30 in the morning, New York time. <laughs> And then they just go back to sleep, right? Because what I say is, you know, you get up, you know, you trade a little bit, make some money, and that kind of takes the edge off the open uh, in regular trading hours, right? Because mm-hmm. then you're not pushing yourself to make money because you've made a little bit. And, you know, so, you know, you cash up a little bit before the open and that kind of takes that, oh, I got to make money. I haven't done anything today. You know, that takes that and like, kind of- Yeah, wanting the press. Down. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I mean, that that's that. I mean, these are things I remember you always being good at and like even impressing on me because I, I think, um, you know, like like you willing to like, OK, put on just like one one or two contracts and like being OK with it. I, I'm like oh. I was always in the mindset of like it's always been hard for me to downsize. Um, oh, okay. And I mean, like even in poker, yeah. like even if I like lost a lot of money and I had to like play lower stakes. 
it would fucking pain me because it's like, oh yeah. Um, but now I don't have any problems doing that. Um, yeah. and, and I think it's like necessary. I mean, especially like when we were getting into this kind of like new environment and like, oh yeah, some of the like my strategies weren't working how they used yep. to or yep. what I was used to. And so I was like, okay, let me dial it back a little bit. Like you were kind of saying, get a feel for things. Um, yeah. I got the confidence back up and then we can yeah. go back up. Exactly. 